Good morning and welcome to this very chilly Wednesday in the woods. Today we're going to be talking about your data and the CIA. And I don't mean the government agency this week, so don't worry. You see, CIA is actually the three-letter acronym that much of information security is based on. It stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And I think CIA is a great way of thinking about data as not just a liability, but an, as an asset. And it teaches us about what we can change from a cultural perspective in our organizations about not just data governance, but also the way we think about information. So when you think of CIA or information more broad, information security more broadly, I think everybody thinks of the C, right? We think primarily about all the stuff we have to do to keep the data safe, to keep it protected from unauthorized disclosure, whether it be internal or external. And the C is really about liability management, right? So unauthorized access or disclosures typically lead to regulatory fines, to litigation, to reputational harm, and they're not good, right? So C is about liability reduction and risk management in the traditional sense. And then the I and the A sometimes get attention. We learn about business continuity plans and disaster recovery in the I and the A. But to me, the I and the A are really about data as assets. So we've talked a lot about data strategy and machine learning, and the I and the A are critical in these contexts, not in the way it's traditionally envisioned or people in, in for example, the SOC 2 TSC or COVID and COSO worlds think. But if we take a modern look at integrity and availability, I think we can actually learn a lot and help our organizations think of data as an asset. So integrity. Integrity is about the data that we're collecting being the right data, being accurate data, being complete data, if we think about it in a broader sense. So are we collecting the appropriate information from individuals? Are we ensuring that that information throughout its life cycle is protected? Protected could mean something like, is it being changed in ways that are not controlled or understood? It could mean, is it being kept in a system that tracks version control for our analysis? Uh, or it could mean any of the more traditional senses of integrity. And then availability, important, not just because we want our systems to be up with some certain level of SLA, but because in a broader sense, availability is about access to data, not just from a, is this system up, which is how it's traditionally viewed, but in a broader sense, is the data actually accessible, not just available in a technical sense, but actually accessible. And so the I and the A, again, help us think of data as an asset, because if we talk about a machine learning example, we can have information that we've collected. We could do that in a way that's appropriate from a privacy perspective. We could store it in a system that has an adequate degree of encryption or protection for the type of information. But if that information doesn't have the right um, attributes, if it doesn't have the right historical representations, if the data has been transformed by an ETL process or some other system-to-system -system translation in a way that prevents us from looking at the true facts with integrity, as in accuracy and completeness, then the data is not valuable for a data strategy um, exercise like a, a predictive model or some kind of analytics. The A, similarly, I think, um, can be seen in something like a data lake or a data warehouse. So yes, a system storing data can be up, and it can be up at a certain level, and it can have geographic distribution of hosting to ensure that there's, there's business continuity and disaster recovery standards met. And that's all great, but if a data scientist or a user can't access the information or can't access it in the right format, then it's not really available. So CIA helps us remember that yes, the C is important. Yes, traditional information security programs do serve a role from a risk management and a liability reduction sense. But think of the I and the A in a broader way, please. 
Think of the I and the A as part of how we don't just keep the data and keep it safe, but use the data to our benefit, to our customers' benefit, and maybe even a broader world's benefit. And if you ever forget why this is important in a machine learning context, I just want you to remember one thing that people say, okay? And that's garbage in, garbage out. Ah.